I am standing at Moraine Lake in the Canadian Rockies completely alone. There is not one other person here. Sit back and watch and I'll explain to you how I came to be here for this most stunning photo opportunity all alone. An incredibly rare weather event is about to happen and I am not going to miss it. I'm going to hopefully get the most stunning photos out of this. So what's going to happen is that in the Canadian Rocky Mountains, it's going to snow all day tomorrow at Moraine Lake, which is my favorite place on earth, the most beautiful place in Canada as far as I'm concerned. And what makes this so unique is that number one, the lake has not yet frozen over for the winter, so you get the blue turquoises of the water. And number two, the road that leads to the lake, which is, I don't know, 10, 20 kilometers long, it has not yet closed. So I'm going to drive all day tomorrow. We're going to get there just in time for the weather to clear. So this is super rare. It only happens maybe every few years. We are not gonna miss it. We're gonna get some awesome photos. Let's go. It's 5.30 in the morning. Not exactly sure what I was thinking. The weather's looking awesome. It's going to be minus 10 degrees Celsius on Wednesday morning and totally clear skies. So it's gonna be good. So I've got my awesome son, Andrew, with me holding the camera. Moraine Lake in the Rockies. Probably the most photographed lake in Canada. Well, we've been driving for something like three hours, just taking a little bit of a break. I am kind of wondering, what the heck was I thinking? Oh my goodness, I'm getting tired. Anyway, time to rock. Time's a-wasting. The truck must keep moving. We're probably halfway there. We've been driving six and a half hours. My goodness, is this ever a long drive. We are in the eye of the storm right now, and all of this snow that's coming down, hopefully, is falling at Moraine Lake, and hopefully, all of this cloud is going to clear overnight so that we're gonna have clear skies, sunny skies, and an amazing sunrise in the morning. But I just really want that photo. This is a photo that I've sort of dreamed of for my entire adult life, and finally this opportunity is happening. I want this to turn out. I really hope it works out. Good and bad news. The good news is we made it to within 20 minutes of Moraine Lake. The bad news is that the road is so slippery that the road is being closed and it was only closed one hour ago. And apparently sometime overnight, they might open the road up, but there's a distinct possibility here that we will not make it to Moraine Lake, that this whole thing is gonna be a fail. We've been driving like 11 and a half hours to get here. And if we had left one hour earlier in the morning, we'd be at Moraine Lake right now. Fail. Utter fail. We drove to the start of the road to Moraine Lake and there was a road worker behind a barricade sitting in his pickup truck and he says he's going to be there all night and he says the road is closed. He doesn't know if it's going to open tomorrow or if ever for the rest of this entire season until next late May. This trip cannot fail. Like we've come too far. So we're not sure what we're going to do, and maybe one option is we just hoof it. It's seven miles, 11 kilometers each way. That'll be a brutal haul at about five o'clock in the morning with loaded packs, but maybe that's the option. So we'll figure it out tomorrow at about 5 a.m. Okay, this is like miraculous. We just got through because we have true four-wheel drive and we have big heavy-duty snow tires on we were able to get through. It's incredible. We're probably gonna be the only people up here at sunrise. I couldn't be happier. But we were fully prepared to walk the full seven miles, 11 kilometers. We have lunches packed and we were not looking forward to this because that's like 22 kilometers round trip. We're committed. We did it. This is it. So we just parked the truck. Uh, sunrise will be in about 45 minutes. There's fresh little crystals of snow falling off the trees and the sky is mostly clear. We can see the moon, we can see stars, we can see wispy clouds. Like if ever this was a, a time when so many things aligned to work out so that we can be here for this morning and this sunrise, this is it. This is like, it feels like it's once in a lifetime to me. This is the most amazing experience to be here. We are the only people here. It was like a miracle the fact that we were able to drive into the road this morning, can't believe it.
here's the initial setup. I want to try and frame in the lake and the distant mountains between two trees so that there's an anchor on the left, which is a tree, and an anchor on the right, and those create a frame, and everything is inside that frame. So I've got myself positioned so that that tree is the anchor on the right, the right frame, and the one behind me is the left frame. We just have two things that we're kind of battling against. There's a bit of a breeze on the lake. Wind is the enemy of reflection, and we want that band of clouds to leave. And this right now is what the frame is going to look like. So, so far I've taken uh, a single row pano, a double row pano, then some single images in, in landscape orientation. They're looking good, but we need the reflections. That's what this shot is all about. It's so cold that the lake surface is actually freezing right before our eyes. Like in the past 15 minutes, so much of the lake has glazed over with a thin layer of ice. So I'm kind of thinking that because the temperatures are so well below freezing now, like this is it for the year. These are the last 30, 60 minutes of any kind of reflections off this lake because it's literally freezing over right in front of our eyes. It's so good that we got here when we did, but still we didn't get those crystal clear reflections that we were hoping for. Whatever the case though, it's so awesome to be here. I can hardly even talk properly. It's so cold that my mouth muscles are like freezing up and I'm slurring. The most important thing for me when I'm shooting a pano is to make sure that the level bubble is exactly level so that I can then turn and rotate the top of the pano head and I know that the pano will be completely level when I'm processing it in um, Lightroom and Photoshop. Moraine Lake, absolutely beautiful. Fresh snow, blue sky, and here we are. Capture the whole thing. Really the takeaway from this entire experience has been you can't give up. If you have your heart set on something, you need to keep pursuing it. Where there is a will, there is a way and somehow we made this whole thing happen. So if you enjoyed this video, I would ask that you hit the red subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it so that you get every video when I launch them. And in addition, here's the question of the day. Where have you been in a photo experience that has been difficult to get to? Put your comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.